Uh, we'll move next to Ole Miss at USC. Uh, and this is the USC, the Eastern version. Thank you for, uh, I guess you didn't put a U in there when you sent this over to me of what to pick. Uh, but Mississippi currently a nine and a half point favorite on the road uh, in Columbia, South South Carolina uh, totals 53 and a half right now. So Ole Miss minus nine and a half total 53 and a half. Tough break for the Rebs. Tough break for Lane Kiffin. Uh, got shocked at home uh, versus uh, Kentucky, losing 20 to 17. This is the same Kentucky team that South Carolina whomped in Lexington 31 to six earlier in the season. Um, kind of contrasting styles on offense. Um, Ole Miss, you know, leaves the ball in the hands of their quarterback, Jackson Dart, most of the time, uh, while South Carolina. Carolina likes to pound the rock a little bit more. Um, Ole Miss rushing defense has been elite. Uh, there are you want to take a guess on what they're allowing on rushing yards per play? Uh, I'll go 2.7 yards. Uh, almost half 1.5, which wow. is second in the country. Wow. Um, South Carolina must they rely all, on their pass. That's been all those uh Kentucky kneels that really set the, the them back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, South Carolina has given up um, their defense style is really about limiting the pass play. They're ninth in the country, only giving up 5.1 yards per play. Um, so here's the deal. I don't know how Lane Kiffin, he's three and two against the spread coming after coming after a loss. Uh, he seems like a really bad guy to piss off. But again, th- this, this spread is way too high. Um, but Ole Miss is explosive. I really want to go with South Carolina, but I'm going to go with the under 53 and a half. Again, both of these teams cancel out what each, what each other does best. Um, I think this is this game is this number is based more on these teams' reputations, but versus what they actually uh, can do versus one another. Okay, so at East Ben is going South Carolina plus nine and a half. Uh, no, nope, I'm going under 53 and a half. Okay, thank you for the, that correction. At Big East Ben is going with Ole Miss, South Carolina under 53 and a half. What I just did was I foreshadowed where I'm going with this one. Uh, I am curious and a little bit tempted by a plus 270 money line right now, but I'll take the nine and a half points. I think it correlates well, home team, low scoring game that I think favors the better rushing offense. We'll see how that works against an Ole Miss uh, stout rushing defense. But uh, Jackson Dart, I've never really been in love with. Uh, Lane Kiffin, I do like, but I, I feel like there is a, a level that he can get to. And uh, I think Ole Miss coming off a loss is going to be a great position for them to bounce back. But uh, I think it's a lot of points, as you mentioned here. And there's a pretty big uh, window for a backdoor opportunity, uh, nearly getting 10 points, nine and a half as we speak. And we might get to 10 before kickoff. 